So basically what I'm starting out with here is a trailer kit from Northern Tool. Um, I already assembled the trailer kit, it's good to go, but that's when I noticed the problem of the tongue length. The tongue length on this isn't long enough. Once that's attached to the coupler and on to the ball hitch, I kind of mocked these up, uh, the J hooks for the kayaks. and. Once the kayak is on here, the nose of the kayak comes out just as far, if not a little bit further than the end of the tongue. So I have a 10 foot piece of steel, two and a half inch, 10 feet long. So I'm gonna run that from the back all the way out the front. And that should be enough space to be able to hook it up and pull the kayaks without the kayaks touching the rear bumper of the car. And as usual, my workbench is trashed because I'm always working on a million projects at one time. So clean that up a little bit and then I can get into this. But first I need to take this bar off and clamp this bar on there and start mocking up everything where the holes need to be drilled for the hardware to attach it. All right, so I have the piece of steel squared up. I'm gonna mark my spots to drill the holes for the hardware, and we're in good shape. So I got the new tongue rail uh, drilled out. Everything's ready to go for the hardware and all that. But who wants to put a rusty piece of steel on a brand new trailer? Let's take it to the power coder. probably guess the wiring harness for the tail lights isn't long enough so I'm gonna have to make my own with some wires
All right, so I got the wiring ran through the tube. So the harness is there, runs through the tube and comes out on the back side. And I'm gonna fish that up through the poles on the sides and bring them to the back of the taillights. Taillights are bolted on. Um, something that might help if you ever have to do something like that, this gardening wire here, it's a mix between stiff and soft wire, but it kind of holds its shape. I basically use that and shot that down like a snake through the middle of the bolts. Attached the wires to the end of that and then pulled it back through. Uh, it didn't really work so good the first try. I think it went around the left side of one of the bolts. So it got kind of stuck coming through, but the second time I got it right down the middle and pulled it right through. Time to wire it up. So I was worried that it was going to hit the fender. It's a quarter, eighth of an inch gap between the fender and the bottom of the boats. The side's a little bit bigger of a gap, probably more to a quarter to a half an inch gap between the fender and the bottom of the boat. But yeah, they're all the way on there. Well, all in all, it works. Uh, I did not strap them down properly, but the trailer itself is good, and if I can just strap them down correctly next time, we'll be good to go. So hopefully I'll be able to hook this thing up and take it out and get out on a lake with my kayak, because I haven't really done that pretty much at all this entire season. So yeah, something else to do, right? <laughs>